you doing, man? I am doing well, my friend. How are you? Oh, you know, I'm just over here manifesting away, brother. <laughs> manifesting away. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> you know, just in the dialogue that we've had, the conversation that we had previously, it's, it's kind of cool just to see, you know, six, eight months later. Yeah. Like it all just, it all just opened up and the floodgates are just, I mean, you're just in a place of allowing and receiving is all, brother. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely, man. Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. Thank you. Would you like one? I know, no, thank you. But I Have a good day. You. We got the new rims. All right, so here we are again, <laughs> 12, 15 a.m. And um, man, there's so many things that are happening uh, so rapidly right now and, and over the last few months. and. Uh, really since the beginning of this vlog and this journey that you guys have been on with me and I just wanted to talk about that I was on a phone call with a good friend um, Dylan and uh, he was talking about just these things manifesting and, and we talked about all these things that just start lining up and start happening for you. And one of the things that I asked him, I was like, but does it even surprise you? Like, you're not even surprised at this point, like, because it just makes sense. Like everything makes sense that it falls into place because of the work that's been done prior and the work that's being done uh, amidst all of this. Uh, manifestation of all these different connections happening, all these different relationships being built, all these different uh, communities being built around this idea of, of value and impact. And uh, it's so incredibly um, interesting to watch it all unfold. And I'll just give you a, a quick story uh, about one of those, one of those things, one of those uh, law of attraction, one of those manifestations, one of those connections that um, that has happened recently. Um, that it's it can only be attributed uh, to putting out this positive energy, putting out this value, and then in turn being rewarded for doing so. Um, and that is with Gerard Adams and a new uh, partnership that we have. Um, come together and created a dinner series called Breaking Bread. Um, we are huge fans of the bread puns around here at the Daily Bread, the Breadwinner Podcast. I'm sure at some point we're going to have something called Bread Crumbs or the Bread Basket or something. But this dinner series called uh, Breaking Bread, extremely excited about. Um, those of you that watched the interview that I did with Gerard Adams up in Newark, um, you saw that kind of just organically happen in that interview right here on the vlog. He was talking about wanting to put together a dinner series. I told him I would love to, to help out with that. I was like, man, it's just, it's like as old as, you know, back to the Bible times, like breaking bread together. And I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just say breaking bread. And uh, it was kind of birthed out of that moment. Um, the first one is going to be this Sunday. And it's just incredible what they've put together. It's at this unbelievable house in the Hollywood Hills. They've got Dr. Donnie Epstein that's going to be there um, teaching and showing how to unlock these levels of um, energy that are uh, in each and every one of us. He's Tony Robbins. Um, 
doctor, uh, energy doctor. Um, TJ loves that phrase, energy doctor, because um, he's all about some energy and he's got more of it than anyone on this planet. Um, but it's Tony Robbins, one of his, uh, one of the, the key people in his life, uh, if you ever hear him talk about him. Uh, they've got a private, uh, unbelievable chef that they're bringing in and just an incredible venue to have 20 people come together uh, that are all like-minded, all that are, um, you know, achieving great things in their own, um, in, in their own right, but are willing to spend money for charity to come together for an event to connect with other people. Um, and it's going to be incredible. Um, we're going to be doing these hopefully once a month. That's the plan. But let's just rewind a little bit. Let's rewind a year and a half ago when I first saw Gerard Adams on an episode of the MF CEO project with Andy Frisella. Uh, they did a Leaders Create Leaders um, episode, which is Gerard's YouTube series uh, with Andy Frisella. And while they were there, they were on the MF CEO project. So I heard Gerard on Andy's podcast, checked out his YouTube series, Leaders Create Leaders, and saw all of this incredible content that he had put out. Fast forward a year, I'm at the Take Ownership event uh, with Gerard. Um, and then fast forward now another six months and, and we're partnering together on this uh, dinner series. And it's things like that, that when they happen, it's just like, okay, well that makes sense, right? That makes sense because of the intent that has gone out over the last year and a half since seeing um, that pod or that series and since listening to that podcast. And these things don't just happen uh, coincidentally. They don't just happen out of sheer uh, luck. There is a lot of work that goes into uh, things like this manifesting. It, there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes that people never ever see. Messages, uh, DMs that go unread, um, emails that go unresponded to, value, 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 content, 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 building up a personal brand uh, over the course of a, a little over a year uh, to be able to even have those conversations, number one, but then to create a platform through the daily vlog, through the podcast that we have to be able to sit down uh, with someone of that caliber and now to be able to take that and leverage that as a tool to then now be able to do something like this dinner series. Um, these things don't just happen. They happen um, uh, by plan and by a, a design uh, that we are creating. And I said an, in, an interesting phrase to TJ earlier today. Um, it's this concept of condensing timelines and that's really what we're trying to do we are putting in so much work and we're implementing so much action on a daily basis that by doing so we're able to scale very quickly in the reach in our impact that we're being able to make on people's lives and the value that we're able to bring to people's lives. And what that does is it condenses timelines. So you hear the phrase patience is key all the time. It's an incredibly important pillar uh, of any uh, successful person's um, ability to uh, hang in there when things get tough, ability to grind through those first months, those first years that it takes to ultimately become successful. But what condensing timelines means, it means that you are able to outwork other people, outwork yourself on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to be able to scale faster and faster and faster and faster and condense those decade timelines into maybe one to two year timelines, condense those one to two year timelines into three to four months timelines. Uh, and by doing so, it enables you to just level up and level up and level up. And it's a snowball effect. It's what we call momentum and creating momentum. And the key in that is the sphere of influence that you are surrounding yourself with. I can assure you when you're sitting at a dinner uh, with Gerard, 
and Dr. Donnie Epstein and all of the people of the caliber that are willing to spend the amount of money it will cost to go to an event like that. And you will pull out two, three connections that you make that will turn into relationships long term. Uh, you go to an event like that and then you go to the next one and you're able to bring in another world-class speaker, world-class entrepreneur, successful individuals. And you'll pull two to three relationships from there, connections that are made that become long-term relationships. And as you do these things, then you start getting text messages from people that it's just like, it's not even a big deal anymore to you. Like it's just, it's just becomes your new normal. It's like, oh, hey, you just got a text from so-and-so. Um, uh, they, yeah, they said they're cool with doing the podcast on Friday. Awesome, great. Hey, uh, just got a uh, DM from so-and-so. He said he's cool to uh, film live out in LA uh, when we do their podcast. And it uh, looks like they're gonna go to this event that, that we're hosting and this and that. Like these conversations become something that a year and a half ago is a just dream, is just a fantasy, quite frankly to becoming very quickly a reality to where sometimes you have to sit back and go, okay, okay. <laughs> like you said that and you didn't even crack a smile. <laughs> you know, like that's, you do realize like how much your life is changing over these short periods of time, but it's by condensing timelines. And if you can become someone that can condense timelines over the course of a long period of time, that means that you are, ena you are enabling yourself to surpass any expectations, surpass any goals, surpass any thoughts that you ever had of what was possible, um, all by condensing timelines. So we've talked about a lot of different things. We're really talking about the law of attraction. We're talking about creating a design for your life and that when it falls into place, it just makes sense because of course it would fall into place like that because the work has been done. I loved um, this this quote that I that I heard on a video from Tom Bilyeu at the Meltdown of the Desert last year or the Colby Kay's events, if you guys probably saw him in the last couple episodes, uh, where he talks about uh, the, the ultra successful and, and going after these great things, but he says intensity is required hard work and working more than you've ever done in your entire life is required but if you do so then it makes sense when these things happen it doesn't catch you off guard when these connections happen it doesn't surprise you uh, when these incredible things begin to occur because it's all part of something that you have designed yourself by condensing timelines by connecting with individuals through the law of attraction and just by quite simply putting in the work um, so I'm super excited certainly about this event uh, with Gerard and the upcoming events as we continue on uh, with this dinner series uh, we're gonna link up uh, the event Event so that you guys can check it out um, as soon as we get any information on the next one so we'll certainly link that up and talk about it here on the daily uh, vlog as well but guys I would encourage you to start taking a look at your life and start looking at it as one giant blueprint towards some end goal and create a design create a plan and how you're gonna get there because if you're not then what are you doing? You're just letting life happen to you instead of you controlling your destiny. Friend.